From the standard, we must ascertain what is the correct type for the poodle. Type to me is what makes the dog look like its breed, and I must, from my own logic, start at one point and continue on from there. Correct type in a poodle of any size, in my opinion, is apparent in examining the animal in direct profile. What is its proportion? Its balance of height to length of body. The poodle is square. Its balance of bone to size, sturdy bone with refinement. Its balance of neck length to body length, a neck long enough to carry its head proudly. Its proportion of head length to size of dog. Is the top line of the foreface straight, neither dish nor Roman? Does the top line of the body appear level, neither sloping or roach? Does the elbow appear to be set directly under the highest point of the shoulder? Does the hindquarter place the rear foot just behind an imaginary line dropped from the pin bone to the ground and stand with a nicely bent stifle and short metatarsus? Is the tail docked to a pleasing length? Does it, appear, does it appear straight? Is it high set, carried up, and is there a shelf or point of ischium out behind the set on of tail, or does it seem that the tail was put on as an afterthought? If the poodle is on the floor or a table or on closely cropped grass, can you see that it has a beautifully tightly formed small poodle foot, slightly spoon-shaped with short but not mutilated toenails. Is the color solid and is the poodle presented in correct trim, well-groomed and owning an air peculiar to himself? If all of this is pleasing, the poodle on my first impression is typical or can be considered to be within the guidelines set down in the standard to make him acceptable specimen to do the work for which he was originally bred, a water retriever par excellence. And now, how does the poodle move going around the ring? After all, side gait is the truest test of the balance and fit of, of its individual parts. The, does the poodle move as a unit, not dissolving into a mass of unrelated pieces? As it covered gra covers ground, does the poodle remain up and square, not lowering itself as a German shepherd dog does in action? Is the head held in a pleasing position, high, with a gracefully arched neck? Does the top line remain steady, with the tail up and carried with confidence? And do the four legs move in correct tempo, carrying the poodle over the ground with grace and elegance? Does the front leg extend freely with no laboring action? Does the rear leg take a good forward stride, the rear foot actually covering the space just vacated by the front foot at the trot? Is the rear leg able to follow through its rearward push, unimpended by a too sharply sloped croup? Hopefully, the dog being gated has been taught to, taught to move on a loose lead and at a moderate speed. Temperament may be observed at this time. Carrying himself proudly, very active, intelligent, the poodle ha ha has about him an air of distinction and dign dignity peculiar to himself. Also, the poodle may exhibit a sense of humor and may play to the crowd for applause or appreciation. All of this before you've touched the animal or really looked at his head, body, and relative lengths of bones of the skeleton relating to correct movement. Check, head, foreface and back skull of equal length, eye, expression, mouth, Ear leathers, proportion to the variety. Fit and placement of the shoulder and forearm. Correct heart-shaped rib. Slight depression just behind the shoulder at the top of the back. The swimming dip. Good length of rib cage. Short, very muscular loin. De depth of chest. Fore chest apparent in front of the forelegs. Beautiful poodle, poodle feet. Good weight and muscle. Carefully groomed and trim coat of correct texture in proper trim. Now for coming and going soundness, and once more around the ring to let you see that typical, useful, functional poodle inside movement, the truest test, in my opinion, of the fit and function of all parts. What you have done is to judge the overall picture, made your first cut on type, and rewarded the soundest of your typical specimens. An untypical typical poodle that is sound is useless. A typical poodle that is sound is priceless.